Welcome back 523 now on day breaking you this morning. The cost of groceries is high, of course, right now and expected to keep going up. Yeah, it's a real problem for a lot of people, but it could be a problem that's even bigger for rural communities in Western New York. Alexander Rios Movia has how three different organizations are working together to make a difference. It's not a normal day for Christy Chamberlain, but today she is out delivering food for Fresh Fix. We're looking at the whole food system because it's important to us that farmers get a get paid a living wage for the hard work that goes into growing and harvesting their products. But it's also important to us that the people in the community that need and want local food is able to get it. That's why they chose this delivery system. If we can make it as easy as possible for people to, to access food and for people to get food, they're going to consume it. Deliveries like this one are made possible through the funding from Independent Health and the Roar Outreach Center. Good, Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? Which helps find families like Jill Daruskas who live in rural communities. This helps families like Daruskas who may face geographic isolation and transportation limitations and most recently, inflation. The cost of groceries are a ton these days, so having one free meal a week is nice. And there's always enough for leftovers for the kids to take to lunch the next day, so that's nice. Not having to worry about what are we going to have for dinner at least one night a week. Over 45,000 people in the rural community service area live in poverty. We have a big job to do. Our service area is more than 50 miles, several counties, so that's a huge, uh, the ability to do that and to be funded in that way so that we're able to do that really is a game changer for our families. And it's through programs like these that can make a difference.